Okay, welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Let's grab a beverage of your choice. Because today, I will be reviewing the death of Captain America. Omnibus. Written by Ed Brubaker. Uh, drawn by Steve Epting. And then Mike Perkins and Robert De La Torre uh, complete the creative team. Um, now, if you, this is the alternative uh, cover, the variant cover. Uh, this is the inside cover, and it also would have been the direct market cover. Uh, it collects Captain America 25 through 42. Uh, I am not a big Captain America fan. But I am a big Ed Brubaker fan. And I've heard really good things about Ed Brubaker's run on Captain America. I mean, this is he's responsible for uh, creating the Winter Soldier and all that. So, uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier that was heavily influenced by the Brubaker run and all. So, I saw this on sale and I got it. This is the only uh, Brubaker Captain America that I have. I'm working on, I'm, I'm going to eventually get other ones. Because I really want to do, you know, check this one out first. To see if I liked it or not. And wow. Okay, so this starts out with Captain America number 25. And this is a little recap of you know how he became you know Captain America and all that. And then it skips to just after the events of Civil War. Steve Rogers had just uh, had just surrendered. His team had just said, okay, we surrendered his team of superheroes. The, I think it was the anti-registration team side. And he surrendered himself to get arrested for his crimes. Uh, so you have him, he's, you know, there's a big crowd out where he's um, where he's going to be getting, he's getting perp walked to uh, the court. You have pro and anti superhero people in the crowd, and Sharon Carter is there uh, with dispersed in the crowd, uh, put there by Nick Fury. To I forget exactly what the plan was, but then someone shoots Captain America, and he winds up getting. He winds up dying because he had been shot. Uh, this here covers finding out who did it, why, and then the consequences of his actions. So you've got 
you, st- you still have uh, Tony Stark as the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, pro registration. You have uh, Bucky Barnes trying to you know figure out who did it and get a hold get get the person who person or people who killed him. And you have all the machinations of you know the different sides going on. And we we you know we know who. Uh, pulled the trigger. We know who was behind it, and what, and then we're finding out what the plot is. I mean, what the their plot, not the plot of the story, but what why they did it, not all stuff. You know, I'm for those of you who know of the story, you know what's going on. If you don't, I really don't want to give too much of it away. But this is really kind of, it's ground level stuff, which is something that I think is Captain America is really suited for. You know, you, I, yes, Captain America is one of those people, you know, sort of like Batman or you know, Moon Knight or, you know, different people who should be kept on a so-called street level thing as opposed to you know the the world uh, ending crisis things uh, this is with him with him this is uh, this is a you know political you know, uh, what do you call it? Machinations. You have mysteries and you have conspiracies and all that stuff. This is the type of thing that he's suited for. And there's there's fighting and all stuff. And you know, this is one. Of, and also, it's also one of the things Ed Brubaker's really good at: mysteries and you know, conspiracies and stuff like that. So he did a fantastic job in moving the plot along and getting things revealed as you go and you know it's just it was incredible I can excuse me really see why everyone loves this series so much and you know even as a Captain America not a Captain America fan I really enjoyed the story because it's the sound of a good story is you know even if you're not too fond of a certain character say Captain America or whatever you can still enjoy the story because it's so good and this is this is one of them this is one of the stories that you're like holy cow this is awesome uh, uh, and add to the thing of how incredible the art is by Epting. It's just some incredible art that just helps draw you into the story. It, it's an incredible piece of work and if you haven't read it uh, I suggest you do and it's not one that you it's a book that you can pick up and just start at the beginning uh, you don't need to know you know much going into it and what you do know the cover in the first two pages is kind of a flashback. You know, that, okay, here's here's Steve Rogers, here's how he became Captain America, and then here's what he did, here's what happened to cause him to get arrested. And boom, this is why things are the way they are now, and 
them, let's go, and boom, off to the races. And uh, Edgar Baker is just, <clears throat> this story is incredible, and I highly recommend it. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. And uh, say if you're a fan of Brubaker stuff, pick it up. If you're a fan of Captain America, pick it up. If you're a fan of just good comics, pick it up. So, anyway, 5 out of 5. Uh, the Death of Captain America. Omnibus. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comics.